We talked on the phone that day. I said to him, please don't be a hero. He responded by saying, don't tell me how to do my job. He told me he loved me. Then we said goodbye. Who knew it would have been the last time we talked? Charlie was an amazing man and the best daddy to the kids. He made us laugh so many times. I nicknamed him Superman, and Charlie called me his mariposa, which means butterfly. Just like Superman, he saved me too. He loved us unconditionally. His job was tough. There were times when mortars were flying over his head, nearly taking him out. Charlie spent countless days and nights with little food while patrolling through the fields of Afghanistan. He told me how he became friends with a dog and said that it symbolized everything that the war represented. Diseases, darkness, hunger, always on watch. Charlie told me he had carried a young boy down a mountain and that his eyes were staring at him and that the back of his head was blown off. My heart hurt for Charlie. My fears grew, but I couldn't tell him about it. Instead, I tried to comfort him as best as I could, and I reminded him that he was a leader and to stay strong. As an army wife, you're always on edge, watching the news, trying not to worry, keeping the faith, and trying to be strong for my kids and for him. His job depended on it. Charlie had his own heroes, those who died in Normandy. He made those boys proud. Who knew history would be repeated? On June 6, D-Day, two days after our phone call, a car pulled up to my curb, and two uniformed men got out and slowly walked toward me. My eight-year-old daughter was outside with me. She looked at them and instantly knew her dad was gone. It hit me, and I couldn't breathe. My husband was dead. I was honored to support my man who willingly answered the call of duty. I think about what I might say if I had the chance to talk to Charlie again. If there were such a thing as a bat phone to heaven, then I would tell him that he was a hero and that the president awarded him the Distinguished Service Cross Medal. I would also tell him that I'm using my butterfly wings to soar through this life. And along the way, I'm telling others about his heroic acts. The last few years were tough. The kids and I have been rebuilding. And finally, things are looking up.